Welcome to Mailstore Tech Tips. My name is Ronnie Jansen and today I'd like to explain the basics of installing Mailstore Server. Before you begin the installation process, decide which system you want to run Mailstore Server on. If you intend to run Mailstore Server in a smallish user environment, you can simply install it on a Windows 10 PC. If you have a mid to large sized environment, we advise using a Windows Server operating system. Since Microsoft's .NET Framework 4.5.1 is required, Mailstore Server must be installed on a Windows operating system. It's also possible to run Mailstore Server on a virtual machine and, where feasible, it should be installed on a separate system. The System Requirements section of the Mailstore Server Online Help can help you plan your hardware requirements for the installation system. Here, you can specify the total number of users, the retention period, and your preferred archiving method. You should not exceed a daily archiving volume of 14,000 emails. However, if you do go beyond this threshold or plan to have more than 500 users, please get in touch with our technical support staff at support at mailster.com. Installing Mailster Server will occupy around 150 megabytes of space on your local hard disk. The databases and archive files are created by default on the local hard disk of the Mailster server machine and can also be stored on a NAS or network drive if required. For reasons of performance and stability, however, we recommend keeping these files on the local hard disk and simply using the integrated backup function to save your data to the NAS or network drive. We explain how to configure this integrated backup function in another Tech Tip video. Once you've installed Mailster Server, you can begin populating the system with users and their attributes. You can do this manually or by synchronizing with a directory service. We've now come to the end of this tech tip. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again soon.